iHooks. After six months of intensive use, I've started asking myself whether my Raspberry Pi was doing okay. And I've learned that there are quite a few tools that can help me to verify it without being forced to install some kind of a dashboard that would relay my telemetry data to an internet cloud, which may cause me to receive targeted ads if my Raspberry Pi, for example, performed poorly or whatever reason related to my Raspberry Pi's performance. However, there are a number of tools that are already built into a Raspberry Pi OS that you can use to determine your computer's configuration and performance. RASP info command will provide general video core file system and packages versions information, as well as networking status, USB status and display information. It will also show crucial system logs last entries. It's like an ID card of your Raspberry Pi and you don't have to provide any parameters for it to run. So it's really easy to use even if you are a beginner. But what I was in fact looking for was PCG CMD command, which is performed by video core itself. It can, for example, obtain system core and power management module temperature. Though obtaining the latter is a little bit tricky because you have to use an undocumented parameter with measure temp function. It took me a lot of time and a lot of internet browsing to actually find out that this parameter is called PMIC, which actually means Power Management Integrated Component. Raspberry Pi 5's Power Management module also allows you to measure your real-time clock battery voltage. You can see that all the important voltages of Raspberry Pi 5 and all the current and sit here get listed so the battery voltage for the real-time clock is okay it can also provide throttle status which is an excellent indicator of your raspberry pi's good performance a poor performing raspberry pi would often get throttled so this means that it would reduce processor speed to lower heat dissipation and to cool down the system on chip However, it is important to know that Raspberry Pis have different systems on chip with different video cores. Functionalities that are able to be invoked through VC Gene CMD command are different. A Raspberry Pi 5's BCM2712, for instance, offers much lesser number of commands than Raspberry Pi 4's BCM2711 or Raspberry Pi 3's BCM2837. You can obtain the list of available commands by typing commands command. Unfortunately, these are just command names without the number of required parameters or possible parameter values or value ranges. So all of this has to be somehow guessed. I had quite a lot of work to search various forms and different web pages to find more information on how to use particular functions. But there are also functions that are very hard to get any information about. And Raspberry Pi currently has no intention to release any comprehensive documentation on using VC Gene CMD command. The official documentation is more or less tailored to Raspberry Pi 4 and previous models, but for Raspberry Pi 5 there is no real official documentation. Raspberry Pi 5 has a more powerful DA9091 power management module, which can even more precisely measure different voltages and currents within Raspberry Pi 5. However, Video Core 7 still functions as an interface between main processing cores, which are A76, and other modules like Power Management Module 1991. VCM2712 system on chip therefore retains only the most crucial functions that are often used by Raspberry Pi applications, while it sheds all non-essential functions like HDMI functions that can be accessed to KMS print command or display power function, which can be used to turn HDMI ports on and off. And this way you can turn off one or both HDMI monitors if they are attached. However, this function was partially replaced by X-Render function on Raspberry Pi 5. 
X-Render function is also available with Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 3, but some say that it has less functionality. Though it can turn one or both displays off, it, it still doesn't offer an ultimate way to turn them back on, because it automatically selects the appropriate resolution, which may not be the same as the one when the monitor was turned off. But if you have set the resolution settings before you have turned the monitor off, you can set them back on, but you have to store them in your application. There are other functionalities which are not related to temperature or voltage measurements, which are not implemented on a Raspberry Pi 5's Video Course 7. But it adds another command that is very useful. PMIC underscore read underscore ADC. This means that you can get all the power management module voltages with only one command. Okay, you are also able to obtain a particular voltage, but this is just a filter. If you specify which voltage you would like to have, you would just get its value. But if you don't specify anything, then you would get a whole range of values. You would actually be able to see all the currents and all the voltages that power management chip measures within Raspberry Pi. The last two values are particularly interesting. X 5 volt voltage is input voltage from power supply. And if your power supply is failing, this voltage would drop much below 5 volts. For example, before your Raspberry Pi browns out, it could even get to 4.75 volts. And the next bat voltage, this is battery voltage, measures your real-time clock battery voltage. If it drops below 2.2 volts, then your real-time clock might not work when Raspberry Pi 5 is not powered. If you've built your own battery assembly to provide battery power, to your Raspberry Pi real-time clock. This is just what I've done and I'm delighted to see 2.8 volts because this is the voltage that I've designed my circuit for and it has not dropped in half a year. If you want to build your own battery assembly from a non-rechargeable battery like CR2032, watch this video next. Another interesting function is set logging level, which enables you to determine how precise log you want to keep about your actions, about your Raspberry Pi operation. Beside WC, Gene, CMD, there is a special WC log command which can display messages log or assert log. It can even show the logs in real time if you use flow option. We've already mentioned a number of undocumented options, but if you want to discover more, you can use for clause with predetermined values and test them sequentially on a given function. You can also specify a number range and you can also test it on a specified function. You will find a raw model where you can put your own function that you want to test and your own parameters. It's all in an Excel table that I've made and that you can download from my webpage. The table also contains a comparison of PC, Gene, CMD functions operation on Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 5. There are a number of comments and examples, so you would be able to see how to use a particular function. But I admit that there are also functions, especially for Raspberry Pi 3 and Raspberry Pi 4, that are so little known and so poorly documented that there is still a guesswork what they actually do. For example, functions that handle file access through video core. Uh, I believe that it might be related to some kind of strange operation mode of video core where video core would access an, an SD card through possibly USB-C port on Raspberry Pi 5 and Raspberry Pi 4 because it usually refuses to work with any kind of file systems that are already present on Raspberry Pi. The only thing that I haven't tested though is a data drive connected through a USB-C port. If you want to know more about connecting your data drives or about connecting your Raspberry Pi to another computer as a device, watch this video next. Thank you for watching. Press like and subscribe buttons if you've liked the video. The next video is coming soon. Bye.